Hey guys, we're going to keep reading together. This time I'm in my pajamas because it's the end of the day. Hopefully you're doing some of your homework in cozy jammies too. So we're going to pick right back up on story number five. It's called Greedy Fawn Makes the Mush. This is a fictional story and you're going to realize that really soon. Every day, Greedy Fawn ate chestnut mush. Only his mother knew how to make it. She boiled water in her biggest kettle. She sprinkled in a bit of chestnut. She stirred the two pots. Excuse me, she stirred the pot two times. The mush bubbled up. Then mother hit the pot with a stick. The mush dropped down. It was ready to eat. Greedy Fawn's stomach rumbled. He made a fire and boiled water. He sprinkled chestnut into the pot. Then he sprinkled in even more. More chestnut will be better, he said. One day, Greedy Fawn's parents were going for a walk. His mother said, Greedy Fawn, do not make a fire while we are gone. Then his parents left. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I do things that my parents tell me not to do. I have a feeling Fawn's going to do that too. Let's find out. Greedy Fawn stirred the mush. He stirred it two times. Then he stirred it ten times. More stirring will be better, he thought. The mush boiled and grew. It flowed out of the pot faster and faster. Soon Greedy Fawn was deep in mush. I think he's regretting not listening to his mom. Greedy Fawn's parents returned. They helped him get out of the mush. Do you have enough mush now? His mother asked. I don't want any, Greedy Fawn said. There is too much mush. Now I know that more is not always better. Sounds like a really valuable lesson in life he just learned. For this activity, there aren't any comprehension questions, but instead um, you and your child can work on drawing and writing about what they read, and maybe they can draw a connection with a time when they should have listened to their parents, but they chose not to, and what the outcome of that was. So this is a good way to do a text-to-world connection and a text-to-self connection.